Hey, Jeffrey, how are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Thank you for joining us at our conference at the uh, GCF at 2023 main event here in Vancouver. Maybe we could just start off by giving us a bit of an overview about your company, Wacovina Therapeutics. Very good. Well, thank you again for, for having us at the meeting. Um, we're very proud to be a, a drug development <laughs> and drug discovery company here amongst lots of mining companies. But um, you know, there are a lot of sim similarities. Um, Wacovina Therapeutics is focused on the discovery and development of new drugs, new therapies to uh, treat cancer. And obviously cancer is a very important uh, subject and it affects all of our lives. Um, our approach has been to establish a very strong relationship with the University of British Columbia, uh, where there's a wonderful in infrastructure and wonderful people. And our focus has been on developing the next generation of therapeutics, pharmaceuticals for the treatment of certain types of breast, ovarian and prostate cancer. Um, following um, on the first generation products called PARP inhibitors that have become very important in the space. And our research is based on their success, but also understanding and overcoming the limitations of those treatments to deliver new and better therapies for patients. So let's talk about some of the recent uh, news there. You published your Q2 recently. And do you want to share with us any business or financial update? Um, for sure. Um, we were very pleased to report uh, a couple of things uh, recently. One was the closing of a private placement financing, which was all insiders. So um, very supportive group of shareholders around the company, as well as management participated in that round, which gives us a little over 12 months of working capital to continue our research uh, toward the initiation of human clinical trials. We're also very pleased to announce that we have published recently in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, which is a very prestigious uh, medical journal, uh, the results of some of our research around a lead molecule uh, in our KT3000 series. And this is a drug candidate that's been designed to overcome treatment resistance. And the data that we published in terms of the animal models uh, and overall results really show the potential for a best-in-class therapy that can really have some game-changing implications for patients with cancer. So what kind of milestone uh, should people be looking for in the next 12 to 18 months? Well, the, uh, the main goal um, is to move a KT3000 lead molecule, uh, like the one that's been published recently in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, into human clinical trials. Uh, and we're hoping to do that in 2024. Uh, we're on track to do that. And beyond that, we anticipate confirming additional lead molecules from our KT2000 series and our KT4000 series um, that are coming through uh, our lead optimization infrastructure at the University of British Columbia. So we really have a pipeline of drug candidates starting with KT3000 series uh, and following on behind that with uh, additional programs that really gives us multiple shots on goal that will generate, I think, some very important uh, announcements and news flow over the next 12 months. So what do you say for your current share price? Is it your valuation? Do you think it's undervalued? And <laughs> why, why investors should be uh, consider your company right now? Well, you know, every uh, mm -hmm. executive or every board member of a company will always say our, our stock is undervalued. Um, you know, we, we strongly believe in the company and the quality of the science and the opportunities for developing very important new treatments for uh, patients with cancer. Uh, the products in our space are all multi-billion dollar um, pharmaceuticals, and uh, we believe that we have very strong positioning there as well. As far as the, the markets go, it's uh, obviously been a challenging time in the uh, small cap market space, um, but our performance uh, over the last six months has uh, been better than the index, um, even though you know, we would consider a, uh, it to be a challenging market. Uh, but the good thing is that we have uh, uh, working capital to allow ourselves to hit some very important milestones um, in the near future. And we believe that that will uh, certainly have uh, an impact on, on the value of the company. So thank you, Jeffrey, for your time here sharing your story with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.